right. So, um, welcome to project management meeting for all the project managers at CURES. And this is 29th of October, right? In fact, the year is almost about wrapping up. So in our day's meeting, we don't have any newcomer, but we have others joining us. And about the main thing and what we want to do today is to take review of what we did throughout the uh, October 1st because um, project managers were assigned, we are working on different uh, project. In fact, it's project manager at the Busayo uh, was coordinating most the whole activity. So um, we're going to like take uh, a recap of what happened and all that. So uh, I will start with myself and um, project managing uh, throughout the uh, October, October first. What I did on my end were to create more issues on education project and uh, added the uh, October 1st tag to them and was able to get contributors to contribute to those projects. And But what happened with the education project is that, you know, it's, it's not really one issue, just like a topic you're treating and have one topic has three stages to go. He has the writing of the script, uh, preparing of the slide deck, and then recording, which is the recording is the last part of it. So the contributors are still contributing. They have submitted their PR on their script, and the scripts are being reviewed. Like personally, I'm not the only one that reviewed the scripts because uh, Chaos wants it to be standard. So I review and I, I give uh, time for other reviewers to come in. So I have reviewed some of them and then other reviewers, uh, this, some have reviewed and then give feedback where the contributors are you know, making changes and adding what they are, they are asked to add. And then we need more reviewers on some particular topic that has to do with the uh, licensing in open source. I have a bit experience in licensing, but I don't have in-depth uh, or experience in it. So I have reviewed what I needed uh, some people that have been in open source for years uh, uh, to also review that particular script. So so all through the October first has been uh, in education project has been writing script, getting uh, those that even started before October 1st to come in and then complete their script and then reviewing and all that. That's what I've been able to do on my own side on education project. I also like was part of the uh, technical writers organized uh, program. That's the doc, Carven doc scavenger right program and talked about kiosk there. So these were things I did during the Hacktober first. So I'll hand over to Busayo. Yes, let's have a wrap from your own side. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. Well done for the amazing work you did that fixing everything in the education channel of um, getting everyone to work together. It's really amazing to see that um, though it was like very short notice, we still came up to achieve this amazing thing together. So well done to you and your team and also to Fouad. So from my end, basically, um, project managed the entire October 1st. So I was basically everywhere um, working with other project managers, or oh, perhaps I have left the phone, so we're recording. Let me just keep talking. Working with all the other project managers, setting things up. Majorly, I focused on the, the technical writer side of things. Hope I saw that that was where um, the most work was being done. So 
we had to set up the repository for different contributors that involved like creating and um the October first of MD file because we didn't have one initially in chaos. So as of now we have one and we hope to keep on reusing this. It's not a one time thing. It's something we plan to keep reusing every October first. So as time comes we update make changes and make sure it's always relevant. So we had um since Hammond is not here, we we'll talk a little bit I'll talk a little bit about what happened during the docs coming job. Um, program. So basically, we had contributors come in, look for issues that they could work on. So I know we had somebody go to the October first of MD file, and the person was able to spot about five errors in what I had already uploaded. And the person took those errors out and fixed them. And it's really amazing to see that open source has really evolved because I know some years back. Most of the things you could do with the open source contribution was strictly code. But now we see that people can make up to three, four pull requests from just changes that are not related to code, changes that are about writing, changes that people would not necessarily expect. It's really amazing. And it was really good working with my other project managers and other team leads in Chaos Africa. And since a lot of them are not here, if they ever get to listen to this recording, I'm so proud of us for putting this together for the amazing work we've done. And I hope we'll try to do the same again next year. So that's it from my end, Cecilia. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Busayo, for that update and that wrap. And uh, next is a uh, good. Uh, Oh God, forgive me if I have, if I am not pronouncing this name very well, but trust me, I will get used to it. Food. Uh, you can out. just can just call me Alifatik if that's fine. <laughs> I should call you what? Can just call me Alifatik if that's fine. Most okay, Alifatik. Now we not have that for peculiar. <laughs> yeah, he's it in the chat, so that's also fine. Alphatic. Ah, okay. okay, I'll try with that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over to you. Okay. Um. So basically, um, this month, uh, we started off. So si since this month was like for October first, we started off by, um, clearing of past issues, um, that have been that have been on board since last year's October first. So. I and Busayo worked on that. I assisted her with that one as well. And I was, we also um hosted this. You assist me of what? You worked on it. I will just, you worked oh. on it, please. <laughs> okay. You, okay. you did that. Yes, yeah, so I worked yes. on it. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, I worked on it. And we also like um hosted um different classes on technical writing for um newbies who are coming into this October phase through Chaos Africa, people who were trying to contribute to the technical writing aspect, they also joined the this um master classes as well, which hosted by Amoni and others. Um what else? Mm. I think that's basically on what I did on my end. Um I think that's it. Those are like the major two things: the technical writing, um, master classes, and yeah, the first one. That's basically what I did on my end. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that because I, 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 I when I when I was seeing your post and your ping, I was like, that's amazing. Because, and when I started seeing Busayo. Uh, saying this and that, I was like, okay, this is amazing. So I want to say shout out to all, all of you for the amazing work you all did throughout this uh, October 1st. It's really like amazing. And I, I commend that. And I want us to go in that spirit as we move ahead. I have to move past uh, October 1st. 
we are moving into November and next is December and this year is a wrap. So I want us to, as we are before our next meeting, we try to look at how can we bring uh, life to project management in open source because we are like representing project management in open source. I know uh, in some open source community I have like passed through, not really I stayed because if you ask me open source project, open source community I've stayed in, I will tell you Kios because I'm involved, um, I'm staying. But other communities I would like visited and then listening to what's going on, some of them. Once I just listen for some time, I don't know what's going on, I just move away. And I've not seen in those where project management is like taking like the way we are, we are looking at it here. So I will want us to, moving forward before our next meeting, go back and think, what are the things that we can do that will bring life into project management and make it desirable for everyone that look at us and what we're doing, we want to identify with us. Like I need to take that again, like what can we bring in? How, what can we do that will be so obvious? I mean, that everybody that can be in the open, let me use that word, that can be in the open and everybody will see and would like to have like project management team in their own community. Because what thing I see in chaos is like, we write matrices, we set standard for people to follow. So, and our matrices are being used for different companies, different open source community and in different projects. So I also like look at it this way in this project management team, What's, how do we set a standard that other communities will look at it and say, ah, project management is happening this way and active and live. And this is actually what they're doing and what they're achieving. We need to like copy that or emulate that and bring it down to our own community. These are, this is what I would like us to go, think about it, look into it and see how, what can we do? What actions can we take? How can we make it so open that everybody know? If it involves we writing about everything we do and keep posting it or you know, find a way to make sure that um, one aspect I'm thinking is like, how do we get um, be sure that when I say I'm a project management in a project, I'm fully involved and I, I know what's going on. And then the technical, Let's say the maintainer in that project and I are actually working hand in hand to know what's going on. And I could pick up the report of what's happened in that meeting uh, uh, in my project and bring it here. And from here, we can take it to the general uh, chaos meeting that this is what we are doing and, and this is what we, are, we have achieved. So this is my, what I'm thinking as uh, so we have wrapped up uh, this October first, and we have done wonderfully well. And it was in the open, trust me. I, it was whatever we did was in the open and people, everybody saw it. And then I want us to move in that speed again. And we think about this, what we can do, how can we approach things? And then so that we can be seen in open source, space so this what um living with us and i want us to have more discussion on it and add action to it uh from our next meeting uh then i want to like busayo um do you have something you want to add to that or do you or in fact everybody do we also have ideas or things we can say concerning that so can document it Okay. Thank you, Sophia, for mentioning that. I think it's something we really want to look at and work on because, as you said, chaos is known for certain standards, certain creating things that other organizations do. And when people see that we can do this with open source, 
we are in a way creating more opportunities for other contributors and even other different open source communities. So I think a good thing you said was documenting more about what is going on. So I think what I'll do is reach out to Elizabeth and see if we can write a blog post. Maybe I can write a blog post on what happened this entire October first, how like the project management team pulled everyone together to do this and share this out and talk about how we plan to expand this even beyond October 1st. And the following months in open and in, in our open source communities. I think that would be one good way to start. Another thing I'm also thinking about is how about we make the project manager channel exciting? I mean, the only conversations we're having there is, is making time is, I know we're not here to joke, but maybe if we try to start having other discussions, we can also make it fun, right? I know there's that fear that what if people don't respond, but at least everyone will see that we have tried, right? And I think if we, the co-chairs, we start with that. Fuad is here also, he's sharing this conversation. He also participates in whatever conversation we get started. It doesn't have to always be about project management. It might be something random, right? It might just to get people talking. So that's not just that. It's only meeting time. We remember that, oh, people are in the community. It's time for meeting. I think that's also something we can improve on. Until we have a substantial amount of people that are continuously putting effort, right? And then we can now become self-sufficient and now say, okay, uh, we'll just do this on our own. We'll do this with people that are on the same. Because it's not nice when we have things to talk about and it's just two, three people on the call. Others are not benefiting. And I know this is a volunteer position and we are not entitled to people's time. But one thing I've noticed is as long as you have offered or volunteered your time, there should be some sense of commitment. So one, as I said, is I would keep a little bit on writing a blog post about everything that happened this October fair. And we would push this blog post. We would share it on all chaos Africa social media or chaos social media also. And then we I think we need to work hard at getting the team, the Slack channel bubbly. We don't want it to just be once it's meeting time, that's when we say, oh, people come around for meeting. Another thing I also think we can do is reach out to people that have said that they want to handle projects. People that have said, oh, this is what they want to do. We can reach out to them. I know we have done that before. If they are no longer interested, there's no point packing so many people that are not doing anything. Let's let them go so that new people have the chance to come in make their own contributions. I mean, it's not a forever thing, it's open source. People get other responsibilities and you can always move away. I think that's what people don't realize. You can say, oh, I'm done with this work, I'm done with this project. And that is also completely fine, right? So we can still reach out to them once again and say, oh, are you still interested in doing this? If yes, let us know. If no, we can bring other people on board and get them to do the work. So that is my uh, little addition. Everything peculiar I said is right. And I want us to implement this going forward. Even starting from next week, we can start. For her, it doesn't, oh, for her, that's, okay, for her, it's still here. It doesn't have to be just us. Since you're here, if you see any interesting topics, anything you think so that my can benefit from, feel free to share it on the channel. Feel free to share it on the group. And you'll see that people will when a speech people would respond. I know I would respond if I see something like that going on. So thank you very much, Cecilia. Before my service is about to start, before I go forward, please, are you in Lagos? If you are, please reach out to me on Slack um, with your email address, um, your your address, your house address, and your phone number. Please. Thank you. All right. Okay. Um, before, thank you very much. Before you leave, uh, like the suggestion you made about writing a blog, I think um, it could be nice if you create the doc and then drop it, everybody contribute to it. So, and we all contribute to it and review it once we are okay with 
what we have written, we can then you can then reach out to Elizabeth for like publishing it, stuff like that. What do you think? That works. We could also do that. So I'll prioritize that tomorrow. Create a draft of what I think we want to talk about and yeah. put that out. But I think what I want us to first do is people have written blog posts for Pure Africa as part of their Hatsuba first contribution. So I want it to be that we have put those people's blog posts out first. And that we can make reference to see, okay, see what completely new people did on our project without any external help, just from Hatsuba first contributions and see what you can do in your own community, see how you can implement this in your community. So yeah. I think what I'll do now is speak with Harmony, ask him to follow up with Elizabeth on pushing those articles that have been written by people doing this October first and letting that go out. And we see I think we lost you or I you lost me. Oh, I think it's from her. Yeah, I, I, I basically okay. agree with basically what she said. It even like serves as like a testimonial for people that have exactly. finished. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So that's what I have in mind. Yeah, that that's that's a good one. That's that's uh, I'm totally in support of that. Okay, um before we all go, I did I drop the did I drop the minute of the meeting here? <laughs> no. It's so painful that we did not take minutes of this meeting. Oh. I, oh, I, 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 dropping... I, I wanted to mention this before, but I thought you, you dropped it before the before I joined. Okay, I dropped it Slack. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, I was actually writing a few things down in the minute. I'm going to drop it again. Ah, I think I have to go now. <laughs> okay. So I'll I'll catch up on the minutes of the meeting if there are other um conversation that happens that I've missed out on. But once again, thank you so much, Cecilia. It's been amazing. Thank you, Fuad. Um I'll hopefully see Fuad around. Please don't disappear on us again. Right? We want to see you. We want to see the work you put up. <laughs> sure, no, no problem, no problem. As I um, mentioned, do you stay in Lagos? Do you stay yes, in Lagos? I stay in Lagos, yes. Okay, so please reach out to me with your um your house address, your phone number, your email address. I'll follow up with you on that. So drop me on. Ah, so you are All my right, mother. Then. Thank you, very <laughs> my mother. All right, but feel free to drop your super chill. Ah, I'll okay. drop you my stuff. Everybody's dropping. What's what's that? Maybe they want to share some dollars. I mean, let me collect. Okay, <laughs> no, but we have um stuff for people that contributed to um have to back that. So we're sharing some merch for them. So be on the lookout. But we'd let you know once it's about to get to you, right? So. Uh, oh um thank you so much uh uh before you drop oh i didn't care like what we're doing if you have opened the doc i started writing something so um don't mind me when i start talking i not able to write again so please feel free to feel free to you know I hope I've not I've not left here. Feel free to go through what I've written and make sure that I captured everything. everything. What I didn't okay. yes, what I didn't capture, especially where I know I'm still trying to capture the Hacktober first. But I just speak um, education, then I'm picking on the other one. So Yeah, so I we can get those things together and aha, uh, uh -huh, I okay, so I don't know why what is blocking me from writing, but I'm trying to 
I will get back to it. But apart from what we have, do you have any other thing you want to say? Like where, where I say what next? Um, I've put, I put about four things down there. What next? And then do you have more things you might want us to look into? And please, whatever we have suggested or want to do, we actually want to do them immediately because I found out that when you, when we waste time on some, when you have suggestion and you waste time in acting on that suggestion, you might like lose interest or lose track of that suggestion and might not be able to take action on it. So I don't know if you have any other suggestion, any other thing you might want us to look into why moving forward or things we need to do as we move forward from here. I, th I think um, Usai even like captured part of what I wanted to like come up with that about part of what I wanted to say that's like the blog. Okay. Either like um the blog or writing like um documentations for new um project managers if they're trying to come on board. So they won't have to like wait till each meetings before they like see what it's about. So I don't know, maybe if we can like um draft out like either a blog, I call it a blog or I mean I call it a documentation or blog post maybe about each of our project technical aspects or basically uh like the project management journey through chaos. So it will be easier for um new people who are trying to join the team to um basically catch up and understand like what the team is about before actually um attending the meetings or um participating in each of the projects. So it will help even other people people within each team understand basically what you are doing within the project management team. Yes. I think that's a great idea. What do you say if I ask you to create like a, a doc and share with us, let's contribute and then work. You champion and lead that way you contribute to it. Why is it connected? You say? Oh, did you get what I said? I, I didn't hear. Yeah. I said, um, did you get what I what I said now? No, I didn't hear you. Oh, I think I broke off. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I said I was thinking if we can like come up um just like Busayo mentioned. Um oh, okay. I think okay. okay, I got what you said. Okay, okay. Yes, I was not saying what do you think you championing that? Create a doc on that and then we all contribute to to it. What do you think? Yes, we, we can like create a doc on that and everybody can like contribute to it. Yes. Okay, so I leave that to you. When you create the doc, just uh, let us know that okay, this is what it's all about, and then we have we look into it and then just set it up. Then we'll know what to contribute, how to contribute to it. And when we review everything and it's okay, we publish it as either on uh like add it to a channel like pin it you understand so that newcomers yes, can yes. come at least really see it or we add it as a topic in the channel so that every newcomer comes in and we also add it under um agenda in every meeting so we refer people to it Yes, that's that works. Yes, exactly. Okay, thank you so much. I really like that. That's so much. I and that's all from me. I don't know if you have any other thing. Okay, 
I guess that's uh, no, no uh, I don't have any laughing. That's like all of my hand. That's what I had in mind. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much for joining and thanks everyone. And our next meeting will be in two weeks' time. I hope to see us be between now and then carry out some of these actions so that by the time we return in next meeting, we'll have like in and their way forward. Yeah, that's all for me. Thank you so much for joining. I do have a great week ahead and so we'll see you again. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, like I said, I said that's all on my end. I don't have any other thing again. Okay, thank you so much. I got it. I think your internet is lacking. So I had you, I had yes. everything you said. <laughs> I had everything you said. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for joining. Thank you. So see you next time. Bye. Yes, see you next time. Bye.